Well, it's a nice hot day out, so I'm stuck in the kitchen with the AC on, and I'm going to start cooking. We're doing lobster bisque today. So this is the first time I've ever made lobster bisque. But what I'm going to do is use this pan right here. So I've got my knife roll right here. And this will get this one out. And I'll start working on this parsley. So we've got a stick of butter, garlic, one onion chopped up, pretty much the whole onion, a lemon. We've got some parsley right here. And we've got the lobster um, shells from when I had lobster a couple months ago. This one's actually from a few weeks ago. And then all the, um, the claws are down here, just thawing out for overnight. We're gonna get this started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, let's see, turn the oven on. I'm gonna melt the uh, stick of butter. The most important thing is set your uh, stove top to low because you don't wanna burn the butter. And add these onions. And squeeze in a couple of uh, chunks of garlic, a couple of cloves. <clears throat> that was a good one. Add some parsley in here. And it doesn't matter about the stems for this level because um, we're making the stock, basically. I'm going to add some lemon. It's just a half a lemon. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Add some black pepper. A little bit of paprika. Make sure I keep this mixed up. I don't want it to brown. Add some cooking sherry. About that much. I'm going to also add a little bit of uh, tomato paste. About that much. Now I'm going to add all the lobster shells. We've got one can of free range chicken broth I'm going to add. Not a can, it's a carton. Organic. And I'm going to add one of the organic vegetable broth.
So what I could have done is I could have roasted these shells a little bit um, beforehand. But I'm not skipping that step. These have already been cooked once. Let's get all this down into the juice. So it's been about two months, and that's about the longest you can. Well, you can you can have the lobster in the uh, freezer longer, but you're gonna start losing your the taste of it. So we've got a good little rolling boil going on there, not very big, but I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. So I got this on a pretty decent simmer. Yep, we're at just over 200 degrees and that's what you want it at for a simmer so that's almost a, that's almost perfect so we'll go three hours like that we're already a half hour in <clears throat> okay this has been three hours already um, I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna do a three-step um, filtration of this and strain it out Okay, the first step is going to get all the heavy stuff out. The big shells and stuff. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit to get as much juice as possible out of here. You can see there's a lot down in there. So I got enough juice out of this that is possible, and we're gonna go for the next step. Using the pan, let's see, let's rinse the sink out a little bit. I used the original pan, I've got this. We're gonna go through this finer strainer, and hopefully it doesn't fall. Oops, here we go. Better hang on to that. So there's our debris field. And I'm going to clean this out and uh, put a cheesecloth in here next. So next I have that strainer that's been cleaned and I've got two layers of cheesecloth in here and I'm going to pour that in again. This is our final strain. Better hang on to this so it doesn't fall in. So in the end I do have to squeeze out the last of the juices here stuff in there Oop. oh my god <laughs> what oh my god okay no we're done all right this is the clarified bisque I'm gonna take a little taste and see if I die it's pretty darn good I like it <laughs>